And stolen Binance, the Nigerian government on Monday initiated proceedings against the company, which is a cryptocurrency exchange platform over tax evasion. The Federal Inland Revenue Service filed the charges at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The move is aimed at upholding fiscal accountability and safeguarding the nation's economic integrity. The lawsuit alleges that Binance failed to meet its tax obligations, including non-payment of value-added tax, company income tax, and failure to file tax returns. Additionally, the company is accused of aiding customers in evading taxes through its platform. The FIRS emphasizes that platform that Binance, I beg your pardon, failure to register for tax purposes and comply with Nigerian tax laws constitutes a violation of legal requirements. And now to discuss this further, I am joined by Head of Operations, Coin Coin Exchange, and that's Tayo Omidiron. Tayo, uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming on. Now, the charges against Binance, it include non-payment of value-added tax, company income tax, and also failure to file uh, tax returns. But uh, can these be paid since it's never you know, had a fiscal uh, presence in Nigeria? It's just a digital platform performing, you know, doing business everywhere. Hi, um, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Um, yes, uh, Binance should pay tax, especially the value-added tax, because they're providing uh, goods and services. Um, you, you don't have to have a physical presence to be able to be charged for tax, as long as you're providing service. I mean, with the, you can correlate this with the issue of Twitter, when um, Twitter, I had to pay some uh, tax and levies for operating in Nigeria. It happens all over the world. Um, they, they have to be taxed as long as they are making uh, benefits from um, the Nigerian uh, citizens. Mm. And also, let's uh, just put into uh, focus here that the charge that Binance is, uh, uh, one of the charges is that Binance is, you know, complicit in aiding customers to evade taxes through its platform. Now, would Nigeria need the aid of the United States, uh, maybe, to enforce this and other claims? Yes, um, it's, it's very funny that um, the issues Binance is having in Nigeria is quite peculiar. It's, um, the issues Binance had with the United States of America. Um, most of the charges against them as um, the weak anti-money laundry um, system, um, lack of KYC, and um, the, they didn't report any suspicious activities, and which is similar to what um, Nigeria is charging Binance with, arbitrage, um, data protection. So, of course, um, Nigeria can, um, can look at um, the, the is similar issues with um, the United States of America and take a cue from them because the, the, the situation and the um, charges are very, very similar between both countries. So, definitely, uh, the federal government of Nigeria would do a wise thing by um, reaching out to the United States. Mm. And now you said that, you know, this is not the first time. It's very similar with, you know, their runnings with the United States. But will Binance pay outright, you know, or would they negotiate a sort of, you know, settlement? Let's try to project what will most likely happen. Or would they just call it quits since it has stopped operating in Nigeria? What are, what's your opinion on this? So the, the Binance CEO um, got charged $4 billion for as retribution for his case with the United States. While in Nigeria, we charged him $10 billion. Uh, Personally, I feel that's um, a bit far-fetched. But like you suggested, um, there will probably be negotiations and Binance will definitely pay, I believe, uh, similar to what they agreed to pay in the United States, about $4 billion to $5 billion. Because to be fair, they've made a lot of profits operating in Nigeria. Nigeria, again, has similar markets to the United States. We have about 33 million users um, who are interested in crypto. So uh, user appetite and investment appetite is quite high in Nigeria. So Binance would definitely uh, make good to make some of the payments. Probably not the whole 10 billion, but um, 
it would be wise for them to make the payment and then be applied to operate in Nigeria because Nigeria has a large market, second largest market in the world after the United States for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Tayo Omidiron, he's the head of operations Coin Coin Exchange. Tayo, thanks so much for coming on and giving us some insights on this story. Thank you.